was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And here we have, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Anthony and John. Welcome, Anthony and John, to this beautiful, cool room. Thank you for very much for being here as well. Hi. Hi. Has it, how long has it been since you visited Australia as a band? The last time we were here? Hmm, 90, somewhere in the 90s. Last century. Flea gets back a bit, though, doesn't he? Yes. Hmm, indeed. Does the band get to crash at his house when you all come and visit Australia? Um, have. I've, I've crashed there. Lucky. On the yeah. floor? Uh, I slept in his daughter's bedroom. Excellent. Yeah. Californication, the new album, is finally here. Now, a few years ago, a lot of the fans were a little bit scared that the end of the Chili's was nigh. Now the album is here. How does it feel for you? It feels good. It feels like a nice place to be. Um, I'm excited about being in this band. I'm excited about playing music with the people in this band. Uh, you know, touring has been a gas, but I'm really kind of... I have this uh, and this thing I'm looking forward to, this anticipation of writing new music, because uh, both John and Flea are, are very uh, deep wells of, of ideas and, and, and love for you know, tapping into sound. And I just look forward to uh, finding out what we're going to do next. Yummy. Blood Sugar Sex Magic was your last record, not in this one, with your mum doing some backing vocals. Um, on Under the Bridge as well, helping out on there. Very nice indeed. And, and now back to the Californication. How does it feel to be back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mom sang Under the Bridge and it feels good to be back. <laughs> I don't know why I put that video in. I was trying to look like I was well researched or something. But... Yeah. And it's a yummy record, the new one. Tell us a bit about the title, Californication. Uh, well, I mean, it's the type of word that definitely has a nice feel to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just seems to describe the contents in an open-ended freestyle format. It's the process of being touched by something, and in this case, perhaps it's the winds from California. Okay. Okay. So it sums and up the whole vibe of the. You know, if, if 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 the world around us was the only way that we put together ideas in our head, then everything would make would be in that realistic sort of order, and. It's a beautiful thing about words, the way you can take two completely separate concepts or separate ideas or separate parts of reality and make them into one thing. Indeed. In either a line of poetry or a word. One word. Extension. Indeed, and it does flow off the tongue beautifully, doesn't it? Does um, living around Hollywood inspire a lot of your music? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that happens to be where we live, and it's not just Hollywood. It's just like this, this whole kind of, you know, edge of of America type of a feeling there and um, it's you know where America stops yeah it's the very edge there and it just feels nice to be on the sea with the mountains and the palm trees and the desert winds and a lot of kind of chaotic thinking and a lot of beautiful thinking and, and interesting history for a young town and it, yeah, it's inspiring it's an inspiring place to live it seems to get a, a big audience for the the funk punk or funk metal kind of sounds around the California area, doesn't it, with Fishbone and yourselves and Thelonious Monster and so on. Why do you think they dig that style of music so hard there? Yeah, I think, you know, people like, uh, people always like little hybrids of music and, and people But why there in particular? Why the, the California, why are they loving it so hard? Or is oh, it not just that, do you think? You have people mixed up, you know, you have different races mixed up and stuff and everybody's uh, influenced by everybody's style, you know, and it's not, uh, not that segregated, you know. So it's about bringing the world together yet again? Just different, you know, you see different types of people, you hear different types of things growing up in school, you hear about different types of music from kids who grow up in different play areas, and, you know, and the music just sort of reflects the, the, uh, all, all the different cultures that are in one place, you know. It's a bully base. Yeah. Why, do you, why are you drawn to funk music so hard? I'm drawn to all kinds of music. Um, I'm just drawn to music. I'm, you know, funk music is something that, uh, you know, it's a, that can mean anything to anybody, but, you know, to me it's something that's very uh, magical and rhythmic and sexual and deep and uh, just, you know, coming from a place of, of, of love, soul, and humor, and sex, and a lot of things that, that I relate to. 
Is it just so. the lyrical content that's sexy? What makes it so sexy? Uh, I guess the rhythm, you know, the fat bottom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think funk music is, you know, it, it's, its origins is, you know, it was, it, it was a really intense form of dance music, you know, you had like, you had like your rhythm and blues and stuff in the 50s and you had doo-wop and stuff. But when James Brown came out with it, with the sound of what we still sort of base funk on, it was uh, it was a really sort of ultimate kind of dancing music. Mm -hmm. Have you got big plans for the rest of the millennium? How long is the millennium, anyways? I, I don't know if it's actually started officially. Yet. I figured I'd die at some point during this. Uh, Interesting. This, I might join you on that. Years, yeah. yeah, yeah. What about the band's plans? Just keep on playing all around the world. Safe to say, death. Death for all in the band at some point in this That's millennium. inevitable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right now I think we're pretty happy playing. And we're going to keep playing. And, uh, make yes. things. We're going to make things. Where there was nothing, we will create something. That's beautiful. May I see what you've created in our rock book quotation? Okay, thing? this is a book about fruit. That I wrote, uh, if we were fruit, we'd be a juicy tart in a nice blue suit. Oh. <gasps> just for the sake of a little rhyme now in an image. And John wrote, uh, I would be a poncy fruit. A poncy fruit? Yes. What a beautiful way to end our chat today. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us here in our room. May the funk be with you and enjoy the rest of your stay May in the Australia. funk be with you, sir. Oh, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Let's go out now and see some more Red Hot Chili Peppers at Big Day Out 2000.